Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. On today's episode, my flatmate is going on holiday, so I get to do whatever I want to the apartment. Oh no. It'll be fine. Now, the thing I want to automate on today's episode is this light switch because, ew, light switch, cringe. I don't think my flatmate would actually have a problem with me automating this light switch. It's more the way I want to do it. Oh. Well, that actually is useless to me. See, I'm a lot more of a uh, ask for forgiveness rather than permission kind of person, you know. Ends justify the means. I'm sure that's never been a problem in history before. Ugh, this is full of dead bugs. I remembered I have a step ladder, so here's my thought process. Normally, I would just replace this with a smart light bulb and call it a day. Unfortunately, we don't have the funds to buy smart light bulbs, so I want to automate this light instead, which means I have to put in a relay, a power supply, and an ESP in here. Hmm. So here's an interesting idea. There's already a power supply in here to supply power to the LEDs, which outputs 30 volts. I could just use that power supply to power my electronics with a step-down converter, right? Let's turn the light on. Oh. This camera does not like this light. 50 to 60 hertz. Should be fine. Alright, well, let's turn that off and disconnect the LED panel. That might make it easier. There we go. I now have to just remember that this is all live right now. Let's undo this screw and move that over here. Grab my multimeter. Right, so this is ground, this is plus. Ah, look at that, 31 volts. I can negotiate that down to five volts. Huh, sounds like I've got a plan. In that case, I can just put this back together and uh, we can go and work on some electronics. Now, oh, how am I supposed to get that one? Oh, Jesus. Hey mate, quick question. Can I use an LED power supply to power my electronics like an ESP32 and the relay along with the LED light? It's Joseph. He's an actual, you know, electronical engineer. Really smart guy. Right, so I can, but I shouldn't really. I mean, it's 30 volts and I can easily step it down to like five volts using like a back boost converter thing, right? Hmm. So I can, but I shouldn't. Right, I will find another way of doing that then. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, back to the drawing board. Okay, by drawing board, I actually mean my drawers of electrical components that are definitely not organized at all, and I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, so, I need a D1 Mini, as always. This one comes with pre-attached wires for some reason. I need a relay. This one from the F-Robot will work perfectly. And I need a way to power these two. Now, I could... Like I said, just do the thing and use like a uh, like a, a power reducer circuit thing and just step the 30 down to whatever I need. Or I also have the option of, uh, where is it? Um, You'd think that after inventing Mimosa, I'd actually be using it, right? No, apparently I still like doing things the hard way. By the way, Mimosa update coming soon. Uh... Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are very, very tiny power supplies that I got years ago. They only produce 5 volts at like 700 milliamps, but this should be fine because I think between this is maybe 200 milliamps, which is reasonable so um let's let's see if this will work so what i'm going to start off doing first is uh, flashing the esp with esp home because uh i don't trust my esps because whenever i get an esp that just decides not to read and write for some reason instead of 
throwing it away or putting it aside, I put it back in the drawer of usable ESPs for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm not an organized person. I just pretend to be one on the internet. Yep, this is one of the ones that for some reason just does not work. How about this one? Okay, this one does work, fantastic. Let's uh, wait for this to compile and uh, install it. Install, select file, select file, select file, install. Connecting, erasing, installing, waiting. Halfway. Installed. Bathroom lights online. Well, not yet, but the, the actual ESP is online. So that's good. Cool. Right. Let's solder on uh, this guy onto this guy. And then let's just click it for some reason. Let's get the microscope. All right, so with all that soldered together, we should be good to test it. Let's plug it in and upload some code to control the relay. Compiling dance, compiling dance, compiling dance, compiling dance, compiling dance, compiling dance, compiling dance. Discovery, bathroom light, configure. I'm not recording my screen. Shit. You can't see anything I'm doing. Well, it says I successfully connected it to Home Assistant but you'll just have to use your imagination. Bathroom light, relay. On, off, on, off, on, off. Fantastic, that's all we needed. So now let's test whether this little um, power converter thing works by using my favorite tool, um, the danger noodle. Don't doodle this noodle or it will kill you. Gonna make sure the plug socket is off. Gonna plug it in. Uh, I need to strip these ends. We're gonna plug in brown to brown, blue to blue. And hopefully when I turn this on, nothing blows up. And go. Huh, we are not getting power. I'm gonna assume it's a connection issue. Okay, attempt number two. Ooh, okay, good sign. I'm just gonna wait for it to come back online. And 
it works. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can go and install it in the bathroom. I am currently very out of breath. Tom is uh, probably at home um, burning things or putting wires into things where they don't need to be wires. Um, but yeah, go subscribe to his Patreon so he can leave the house for once in a while and actually like come with me to these kind of things. He really does work really hard all the time. You guys don't even know how much like he works per day on his videos and his projects. Um, he could have gone on two holidays in the past like two months and he, che he didn't, he didn't, che he chose not to because he wants to keep the momentum going on the channel. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Ah, mountains. But yeah, he wants to keep the momentum going, so please do go support him um, on Patreon. Uh, you'll get access to all of the early stuff. Um, and yeah, peace. Put that down. Lower that down. Right. Now at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, Thomas, how are you going to install it? Well, that's a very stupid question with a very simple answer. You must be new here. It smells like my hot glue gun is ready to go. So I can just put some glue on here and stick that down here. It's okay, this is all plastic, so it should be fine. Let's do the ESP. A little dab of glue. Put the glue gun down. Attach to plastic. Oh, that's kind of where the relay had to go, but uh, okay, well, it will be a squeeze, but it oh, can't go there because of that. Will that still close? Yes, it will. Okay, so that can go there. All right, let's plug this into uh, normally open, I'd say. Fasten that down. I'm sorry, all you're seeing is my armpit. Okay, and now we can take this wire and plug it into normally common. If I open it first. Oh, this is not the right screwdriver. One moment. Okay, I got a slightly less wide screwdriver. Let's put that back in by pressing the little indent thing. Okay, that's attached. That's attached ish. That's attached ish. Right, we need to put you back in here. So now, if I power it on, the, the light should do nothing. Okay, well, it flashed, but it did nothing, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Great. Right, let's glue that relay with a tiny bit of hot glue. And about there-ish, where it's out of the way of the box. Fantastic. Um, and does that close? It closes. Cool. Right, let's turn it back on and see if we can actually connect to it. All right, let's take a seat. Oh, okay, it's online. <gasps> we did it. Sick, why does it do that little bump? Okay, I don't love the bump, but it seems to be okay. Okay, I assume it's discharging some kind of capacitor when it reconnects back. Hmm. I mean, my other option is to, instead of connecting it down here, is to connect it up here, but I didn't want to do that just because uh, I might have to do that. I didn't record it because I was lazy, but I did actually switch it over to turning off the power supply instead of just the LED light, and that did get rid of that weird bouncing issue, so all good now. I'm sure that bump was already there, I just never noticed it. Okay, well, it works, fantastic. Let's close it up. Ah, there we go. 
Now, as always, I already know what you're thinking, and yes, you should probably delete your internet history, but also, how am I going to be turning this light on and off considering I just eradicated the light switch and made it app-controlled? Well, that's very simple. I'm putting a human detection sensor in here. Yes, the exact same one that I used here. Oh, it's down here now. There is actually two reasons I don't have the case up there anymore. Number one, cable management. It's a lot easier for me to run a cable down here than it is to run it up there. Number two, it doesn't see short people. Even though in my case, I added a small tilt for hopefully to adjust for that, it did not help. My partner was still invisible to it. So instead, I got this little case from printables. It's a parametric design that I just adjusted to fit inside this little groove inside this little groove and then fit the electronics inside and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. This should be the perfect spot for the sensor to see the entirety of the bathroom no matter where anyone's hiding and if it isn't, plan B is over here. And yes, I am still planning to add the environmental sensor which should be uh, quite funny. Right, let's print ourselves a case and assemble the sensor array. The last thing for me to do should be to just put this on the wall here, make an automation so that it turns on the, uh, the light whenever it's triggered, and uh, do some testing. Do 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 do, I gotta do a poo. Ta-da! That's a bit slow. I might have to play around with the settings a little bit, but it seems to be working. Okay, I increased the sensitivity. Do 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 do, go to do a poo. Right. Once again. Do 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 do, I go to do a poo. Okay, well, I don't know if that was the sensor or just the light being slow. One more. Oh no, I've got to go quick. I mean, it's not bad, it's just annoying. Final test. One, two, three, four. Okay, four-ish seconds, that's not the worst. I will still play around with the settings, maybe um, I can dial it in a little bit more. The light does occasionally disconnect from Wi-Fi, but this bathroom is horrible for Wi-Fi reception. These are concrete walls, and my phone struggles with Wi-Fi reception here. Uh, so I'll probably get something like a Wi-Fi repeater, mostly for myself, so I can scroll Instagram whilst on the toilet, but also for the light and the sensor. So that's kind of it. Thank you for sticking around this long. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support me on Patreon if you can. And I'll catch you in the next live stream. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought this was going to be deeper. What's this? Oh, DF Robot released a new millimeter wave sensor that would solve all my issues in here.
That's how I feel.